hero, a hero, a hero is coming from Kenya. I have come. I said, my brother is here, he is the hard one. So I looked at him and I said, don't go. I knew he went no and being baptized. I knew he can't hit me. My mother is here. So I knew he, was, he had green color. I saw him sign the visitor's book. I'm sitting there like a very important person, but I come from Elbagon. I'm, I'm, I'm sitting. And you know, when we tell you to close your eyes, we don't close. We, 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 don't, we don't close. We tell you, close your eyes. So everybody, every, I saw B. Watts' head go down. I saw Moise go down. And I said, you are here. And you would like to receive this Jesus. You have never confessed him as Lord and Savior. I want to give you an opportunity. You will lift up your hand and put it down. Lift it up and put it down. And the students started lifting up their hands. And I was there saying, yeah, I see your hand. I see those hands. I see those hands. Yes, I see those hands. I see those, see those hands. Then I saw be what? Lift up his hand like that. I looked at that finger and I knew that's not a kind of finger. <laughs> Word of God. That while there, he looked up. And he said, I, that Kagai. That is the Kagai that was sitting at my gate. And that old man, Abraham, that tells me, people remember. That is the, the soul. People remember. And people recognize one and people recognize one another. Right now, from the from the ninth, from the ninth of July, Alan is rejoicing with all the saints who have gone before us. He has been having a cool time with those guys he had not seen for a long time. He is having a time and a moment of rejoicing. Give updating them. And telling them, those who knew the Edegua, you, you, you know the Edegua? Ah, the place has changed. The place has changed. Oh, the place has changed. By the time I left, it was like this, and like this, and like this, and like... They are giving stories, Buana. They are rejoicing. That's why we call this a celebration service. We call this a celebration service. Because we know one of us has conquered death and has dismantled death and has gone to the other side. And I want to say to you, my friend, you shall conquer. I said you shall conquer. You shall conquer. We shall dismantle it and say with Paul, Oh, death, where is your victory? That you, you we will we look at death. And I, I rem I'm thinking, rem remembering my daughter when she was a young, uh, I, I, a small girl, and she was, she was, okay. Okay. Calm down. Makarioki speaks slowly. Okay. 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 My daughter, when she was small, and she's playing with the others, and somebody has been running after her, she would run home. And then when she gets to the house, she would turn around. She knows that he's here, and she would say, nye, 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 nye. We will look at death. We look at death. And we tell death. Because death, you thought you are going to finish us. But we are not finishable. We are not finishable. Death, you thought you are going to threaten us. We are not threatenable. Death. You, you cheated us that Alan is gone forever. You are a liar. We are not cheatable. We know the dead are still alive. So, we see Adam talking. Let's come to our scripture in Joshua. God says, Moses, my servant, is dead. And I told you death is not a state of lifelessness. When you come to Matthew, when you come to Matthew 17, Matthew 17, 1, 2, 3, from the beginning, you read the story about the transfiguration. When Jesus took his disciples and they went up the mountain, 
They go up the mountain with Peter, James, and John. And the moment they appear there, the glory of God comes. Then who appears? Who appears? Who appears? Who appears? Moses and? Which Moses is this? The Moses that God himself announced and said, Moses is dead. God himself made the announcement and he said, Moses, my servant is dead. Many years later, at the mountain of transfiguration, Moses just appears. And Peter recognizes him. And you are telling me Alan is dead. Oh, oh the devil is a liar. I said the devil is a liar. Can I tell you, my friends, in this casket, Alan is not here. I said, Alan is not in this casket. On the 9th of July, at about 10 in the morning, at about 10, the nurse or the doctor in charge came and checked on the, on the pulse, and the machines went down, and the nurse or the doctor said, absent. But in heaven, the angel on duty, in heaven, that same moment, the angel on duty said, Alan Kuna, present. He said, Alan Kuna, present. You read, you read in Acts, read in Acts, you will find the Jews took stones and they started stoning Stephen. They hit him with the stones. Others said, Boop. Another one hit on this side. Boop. And they beat him with the stones. Beat him with the stones. What did he do? He looked up. And he said, I see Jesus. I see Jesus. The Bible tells us that when Jesus ascended into heaven, he sat down on the father's right hand side. But on that day, when Stephen saw him, he saw Jesus standing. Jesus stood up to do what? To welcome a hero. To welcome a hero. To welcome a general and say, welcome. So on the ninth, at 10 in the morning, the nurse said, absent. But there, the trumpet was played. And they said, special announcement. A hero, a hero, a hero, a hero, a hero is coming from Kenya. A general is coming from Kenya. And Jesus stood up. And when he stood up, Alan walked majestically. He walked majestically into that place. And he said, I have come. I said, oh, Joe, I have come. I have come. I want you to know, my friends, that the dead are still alive. They are still living. Why? Because he who believes in me, even though he were dead, yet shall he live again. You know, John wrote and said, or Jesus said, for God so loved the world that he gave his seat on his begotten son. That whosoever believes should, should not, but lots of revelation there. Lots of revelation. Number one, there is believing. You believe in him. If you don't believe in him, there is perishing. Tell your neighbor there is perishing. 
So we have two groups of people. Those who are perishing and those who have eternal life. Simple as that. Eternal life does not come at death or when we go to heaven. Eternal life comes into you the moment you get born again. That is what is called the incorruptible seed. That's the incorruptible seed. The undiable seed. It cannot die. That which is in you cannot die. But Paul also writes and tells us that this treasure, this treasure is hidden in earthen vessels. And he tells us that which is of the body is earthly. And that which is spiritual is heavenly. So a moment comes when that which is earthly has got to be separated from that which is spiritual. And once the body is separated from the spirit and the soul, the spirit and the soul are intertwined. The body and the separated from the spirit and the soul, the body is earthly. It is of no use. So the best thing you can do to the body is take it where it is supposed to be. From dust you came, from dust you shall return. So we are returning the body to where it came from. But for Alan, he is there with the others and cheering us. Go baby, go. Go baby, go. Go baby, go. So when you find yourself in problems, remember Alan is saying, go baby, go. Go baby, go. Don't give up. Don't give up. Kathy, when, when, when things are hard, when situations are difficult, he is there and saying, baby, no, 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 baby. Keep going, baby. Keep going, baby. Keep going, honey. Keep going. He has joined the cloud of witnesses who are cheering us up. Woe is unto you. If you will die, if you will have uh, die physically without knowing God. You need to know God. And Jesus come, said, no one comes to the Father except by me. And he said, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. So there is a rest we get into when we give our lives to Jesus. When we surrender our lives to Jesus. The rich, the rich man went into eternal death. Eternal death. Because even one of the popes said there is no purgatory. I think John Paul or one of those popes he said there is no purgatory. There is no waiting room. There's no waiting room that you will go there and you will ask somebody to pray for you. Decisions are made here. It is you to make a decision here. And it is so easy. It's just, it says, believe in your heart. Confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. You shall be saved. As simple as that. You know, I had a brother of mine. And we, had, we, were, we were three brothers. We were, I, had three, I had three brothers and myself. Three of them are gone. I'm the only surviving one. And, and, and I have two of my sisters who are surviving. This brother of mine is one of those brothers who, he paid my school fees. And because he educated me, he, you don't talk when he's talking. He's one of those brothers, you don't talk when he's, he's talking. He was one of those hard ones. So I'm looking at him, and I, we, are, we went to Joro with my, to, to visit my mother, who was living with my eldest brother. And the three of us are there, and my mother. My mother was cooking some pancakes. She was cooking some pancakes, and she was very good at pancakes. So I looked, at my eldest brother went out, and I was left with this one, and I know mama is here. We, we used to call her Monica. We didn't call, we didn't call her mother. We just called her by her name, Monica Vito. So I know Monica Vito is here. My brother is here. He is the hard one. So I looked at him, and I said, Dongo, do you know that you are the only one who is not born again in this family? And he looked at me and he told me, who told you I'm not, I'm not born again? Because at that time, he was an elder. Actually, here in the Degua, here in the Degua, he was an elder of the church. He looked at me and told me, who told you I'm not born again? I said, you are not born again. Are you born again? Yes, I'm baptized. I said, there is a difference between be, being born again and being baptized. I knew he can't hit me. My mother is here. 
So I knew I, I knew I was secure. So I, I told him, no, you, there's, a, there's a difference. Being born again means you believe in your heart. And he said, I believe. And then he says, it also continues to say, you confess with your mouth that that Jesus is Lord. And he looked at me. He didn't know what to say. He said, okay, I confess. <laughs> and the guy got born again. He, he, just like that. You know, some of us think that for you to be born again, you have got to feel some gunyereres. Wee! Woo! There is nothing like gunyerere. You believe in your heart, confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and you shall be saved. As simple as that. Let me give you another one. In the days of Moy, I was invited to preach in uh, Moy University. They had a missions week Moy, uh, in Moy University. So I was there the whole week, preaching lunch hour and evening, teaching lunch hour and evening, lunch hour and evening. And then I was told, oh, the president has said he is coming, he is coming for the service on Sunday. And you are the one who will be preaching. Said, yeah, Pastor Makarioki, yeah. Said, I, I will be there. So I, I am praying, I am praying. So Sunday morning came and I went to my university. And I am there. Waiting, and, I'm, and I was told he has come. You go and welcome him. So I went out, and the uh, oh, you are your excellency. And then he came with uh, be what, the total man, and and they, they came in, and we sat there. I saw his uh, his uh, his uh, his go, his pen, which was uh, he had green color. I saw him sign the visitors book. I'm sitting there like a very important person, but I come from Elbagon. I'm, I'm, I'm sitting there. He signed, and then we were told, okay, let's go into the service. We went into the service. And I was determined, I am going to be simple and teach on God's plan for salvation. I went to slowly on God's plan for salvation. The students had been with me the whole week. So these are things I had taught them. That was revision. So they were yelling and saying, yay, amen, shouting and shouting. Then I came to a close and I said, you've got to believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord for you to be born again. Then I paused and looked at everybody and I said, now I want to pray. Every eye closed and every head bowed. And you know, when we tell you to close your eyes, we don't close. <laughs> we, 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 don't, we don't close. We tell you, close your eyes. So everybody, every, I saw B-Watt's head go down. I saw Moise go down. And I said, you are here. And you would like to receive this Jesus. You have never confessed him as Lord and Savior. I want to give you an opportunity. You will lift up your hand and put it down. Lift it up and put it down. And the students started lifting up their hands. And I was there saying, yeah, I see your hand. I see those hands. I see those hands. Yes, I see those hands. I see, th see those hands. Then I saw be what? Lift up his hand like that. I looked at that finger and I knew that's not a canoe finger. <laughs> that is not a canoe finger. I saw him lift up his hand and I, see, I said, I see your hand, put it down. And he put it down. Then I, I knew now, because of security, I can't call anybody here in front. I told them, okay, everybody close, uh, pray with me. While your eyes are closed, pray with me. Say, dear Jesus, dear, I could see his lips moving like this. Dear Jesus, come into my life, come into my life. And he said all I was saying. Why am I giving you this story? I'm giving you this story because some of you could go to heaven and you find him there and you are left wondering, how did he get here? How, how did he get here? And I thought it is good to tell you that it was just a simple decision. Or it could also be the other way around. You could go to hell expecting to find him there and you don't find him there. And you said I was not as bad. How, how come he is not here? It was a simple decision which you can make and it will change your life. You can make that decision, it will change your life completely. And forever, you will remember Bishop Alan Kuna because it was on his day that you surrendered your life to Jesus. My friends, don't wait for you to die physically before you give your life to Jesus. 
And to give your life to Jesus, don't wait to have some feelings. Some gunyereres. Don't wait for gunyereres. There are no, is a Greek word. It's a Greek word for chui, 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 chui. So don't wait to feel anything. You believe in your heart, confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. Now, my brothers and my sisters, every eye closed <laughs> and, and every head bowed. Wherever you are, let's bow our heads for prayer. I have told you, there is eternal death and spiritual death and physical death. You are here, separated from God. You could be baptized. You could be singing in the church choir, wherever you come from. Or you could be a chief financier of the church. But you know that you know that you know you are not born again. Your chances of meeting with Alan are zero. Ever. Zero. But this day, you can make a decision and say, I have decided to give my life to Jesus. I believe in this Jesus. I invite him to be my Lord and my Savior. Right there where you are. Just lift up your hand and put it down. Just lift up your hand and put it down. Wherever you are, you know you are not born again. Lift up your hand and put it down. You need to give your life to Jesus. You need to change your life. Wherever you are, those of you who are watching on the social media, whatever country you come from, and you do not know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I want us to pray with you. And everybody in this sanctuary, I want us to pray together with those who are watching on the social media and those who, may have, who have lifted up their hands. I may not see your hand, but Jehovah sees your hand right there where you are. Please, everybody pray with me and say, Father, Every one of us, let us support those who are praying and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I acknowledge that the work done at the cross of Calvary by Jesus Christ was for me. He died for me, was buried for me, resurrected for me. Ascended into heaven and is coming back for me. And right now, of my own accord, I open up my spirit that you may come in and make me your habitation. I receive you today as my Lord and my Savior. Because I pray in Jesus' name, amen. amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for everyone who has prayed that prayer this day, who did not know you, that you would put the seal of the Holy Spirit upon their lives and give them the understanding and the knowledge that this day, they have become sons in the kingdom. That they are born again. Give them the courage and the confidence to testify and witness of your saving power. We honor you and we bless you. In Jesus' name. And everybody said amen. Everybody said amen. amen. For those of you who are born again, I want to say to you. Let's keep fighting the fight of faith. Let's keep moving forward. And look at death and tell death, you have no victory over me. Because I have overcome death in Christ Jesus. And constantly have this in your mind. That Alan is not lying here. Alan is rejoicing with the angels in heaven. He is watching us and he's saying, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Reverend Kathy, I want to bring the condolences of my friend and our friend, 
uh, uh, apostle, Josephat Josephat Mwingira from Tanzania. He's a member of the African Apostolic Council. And he called me and told me he would have really wanted to come. But he was starting a crusade today, which he, he couldn't cancel. That's why he was not able to come. And he sent me with his uh, uh, condolences. Please do receive that. Thank you. Thank you so, so very much. Now, as we move forward, as we move forward, this is a service of celebration. Let us celebrate the life of Alan, knowing that he is not in this, in this box he is celebrating with the angels in heaven. Let us join the angels and celebrate together in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May the Lord richly bless you. May you walk in that, in that word in the name of Jesus Christ and to the glory of God.